Now, VW really enjoys bringing in limited units of their CBU models and these are cars that you don't get in India very easily. Now, most of the times these cars are very luxurious and they're meant for the European market. And this is one of those cars. This is the VW T-Roc. But the thing that differentiates the T-Roc is that it has a little bit of that sporty DNA because it's based on the Golf platform. And today, this car over here is a stage 2 car and I want to tell you about it and why it's so amazing. Before we jump into the modifications of this car, I quickly want to talk about the looks of the T-Roc. Now, you don't get the T-Roc in India anymore. It's a very limited car, so even buying it in the used car market is very difficult. Now, at the front, as you can see, it's kind of, it looks kind of like the Tygoon, but I would say the Tygoon is inspired by the T-Roc, especially with this grille, the way the headlights are shaped. And in fact, the DRLs are not inside the whole headlight, they're over here. Uh, on the bumper. Now move to the side you have these really slick looking 17 inch rims I really like the design of these uh, move down to the side this is kind of like that sport back kind of look that VW and Audi really like to do so as you can see it kind of drops down over here at the back it's a very low slung crossover SUV and I really like the look of it it's very sporty and if you have a keen eye once you co uh, come over here at the back you can see that yeah there is kind of like this fakery going on over here but this is a stage 2 car, so there are real exhaust tips and you have to kind of look beneath over here and you'll see the Acra Povich exhaust tips which looks super sick. Now this over here is the 1.5 TSI 4 cylinder engine, more or less the same engine that you get now in the Virtus GT, Tygoon GT, Slavia and Kushak. But it used to make 147 bhp and 250 nm of torque but with the mark uh, performance full system exhaust with the akrapovich tips at the end knn air filter and a stage 2 tune from venom performance this thing now pushes almost 230 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque want to hear what that sounds like check it out Yeah, unfortunately this car still has its rev limiter, so it's not revving beyond 4000 RPM, but trust me, it sounds quite good. Now coming to the interior, this being one of the more premium products of Volkswagen, yeah, the interior is quite the tech house. Now you have this massive infotainment screen over here in the middle, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it has the works. Then you also have a digital instrument cluster. Now the Virtus and Slavia and all got this almost two years later, but this car got it first and yeah, it's a great cluster, great uh, graphics. Uh, you have your gear knob over here. It came with paddle shifters from factory, so you don't have to change the steering wheel or anything of that sort. A massive panoramic sunroof, good amounts of space in the interior, but I think so we need to stop uh, mucking about on the interior, take it out for a quick spin and see how it feels. is a very interesting car because it comes with the 1.5 TSI engine and technically the 1.5 TSI is set to replace the 1.8 TSI and yeah so I'm really interested in driving it because I personally own a 1.8 TSI as you guys know and I want to see what the latest and greatest from VW feels like so the tune activates more or less when you put it in sports and manual that's where you can hear the real pops and bangs and the real power of the car currently i'm in drive and it's a very sober driving experience you barely hear the exhaust this uh, particular exhaust is a valvetronic exhaust so you all obviously have the remote which controls the valves and everything so the valves are currently open let me just pop it into manual mode give it a couple of downshifts and First of all, the exhaust note is a very sweet sounding exhaust note. I love the way it sounds. It's not overly loud, it's not overly aggressive and even the pops and bangs are very controlled. A little bit of an open stretch, let's give it the beams. Sounds 
so good and it pulls also pretty hard some cool things about the t-rock is like i said you get paddle shifters from factory now the owner has fitted these paddle extenders and yeah it's a very tactile experience you can control the car the way you want it to be controlled and venom performance like i said has done a really good job in keeping the tune controlled and making it sound good and not overly aggressive and that's one of the reasons to it is the transmission that this car comes with the dq200 transmission so you need to be a little bit careful because these things are a little fragile when it comes to tuning and all of that stuff even if you're owning a stock car the dq200 is prone to a failure or something of that sort so you know keeping it a little controlled is always a good thing and anyways the t-rock is not this car is not supposed to be any sort of drag monster or track car it's a very good dailyable street car and that's the way it's meant to be used the suspension is comfortable there is a little bit of body roll but that's because the suspension is comfortable it's not a through and through performance car and you know if you want something to have fun with on a daily basis i can't think of a car which is more cool to own than the t-rock because you have ample amounts of space four people can easily sit in the car the boot is not the biggest but again if you're using it as a daily driver i don't think you need anything more than this t-rock over here now when it comes to tuning the t-rock uh it was a little bit of a different approach than most vw cars most vw cars it's a pretty simple thing just uh plug in plug in your computer to the obd port and you can tune the car but since this is a cbu model and plus the 1.5 tsi isn't the easiest engine to tune uh for the tcu tune they had to connect it to the obd port and yeah uh, they got a tcu tune as well so the tcu tune ha is an oem plus tune which has been installed by black box performance mr anish gulgule and the ecu tune has been done by venom performance now for the ecu tune uh the boys over at venom performance had to remove the ecu and properly bench tune the car little bit of a difficult process but definitely something that's more effective because you can do more stuff to the car and customize the tune the way you want it to be done and i just love the dsg farts i mean reminds me of my old polo now the t-rock isn't the most tuner friendly vw out of the whole lineup because not a lot of people have really worked on it that's what makes this particular car a very unique build so parts and stuff like aftermarket parts and stuff for this car like a intake system uh probably uh, engine coil packs and all of that stuff is a little bit difficult to get most probably you'll have to import all of that stuff but you can make do with whatever the owner has done currently it has a stock replacement air filter from knn which is pretty effective a full custom exhaust built by mark performance which sounds fairly nice and a custom tune from venom performance so if you want to really tune it you can do it so there's nothing to worry about So the T-Rock is a good car for someone looking to have a fun daily driver and has a budget of around 20 to 22 lakhs for one. Yeah, because the limited numbers of the T-Rock hasn't depreciated the car's value too much and being the perfect size it is a very desirable car. But what about the mods? Well, here is a detailed breakdown of the approximate costs to build a T-Rock to stage 2. Pause the video to get a good read. Yep, expect to spend around 1.5 lakhs on a stage to set up for this car, but it is totally worth it. You get the practicality of a crossover SUV with good space, a comfy ride and a great ground clearance. While as the 1.5 TSI with the DSG and a remap underneath can take a base level BMW 320d to school in a straight line. Before we conclude this video, we want to shout out High Octane Nutrition for providing us with this car. High Octane Nutrition brings solutions to your fitness regimen. They bring premium and genuine quality supplements and is trusted by multiple elite level athletes. They gave us this This super cool goodie bag with this bottle shaker inside. Follow them on Instagram for more information. 
Now the T-Rock is one of the coolest cars that you can tune with because it's so practical, it's very dailyable and yeah, it does everything that you want. Even the 1.5 TSI is a good engine, produces good amounts of power, plus you have the DSG transmission so you can use it every day. Now I know the DQ200 isn't the ideal transmission, like I've said many times before, yeah, DSG failures are quite... Uh, common with the DQ200. If you look over that fact that the transmission might fail, I just love the way uh, it has been tuned. It's so aggressive. Venom Performance has done an amazing job in tuning this car. So yeah, one of the coolest cars that I think so I've covered in the last few months because I did not know even people were tuning T-Rox and this is one of the first tuned T-Rox that I've seen. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about the T-Rox. Uh, would you have a T-Rock and tune it or would you just keep it stock? Subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram and I'll catch you in the next one.